Hello, welcome to Views and Opinion on New Media Africa. I am Ola Malivia and Chinana. On this episode, we are looking at terrorist attack in our country, Nigeria. Today, terrorism seems to be a new trend in Nigeria. We know how people masquerading as killer hesmen, bandits, unknown government, kidnappers, and so on. And this is happening in virtually all the jubilee zones of the country simultaneously. This situation can drive fear in the spine of innocent citizens of the country. How is the government addressing these challenges? Do we say that the crisis has overwhelmed our armed forces or that the armed forces are not ready to combat this crime? There have been incidents in Kaduna, Plateau, Enugu, Imo, and Anambra. The recent one is in our own state where the religious worshippers were slaughtered in cold blood and in broad daylight. On this episode, we bring you the views and opinions of our respondents regarding the state of insecurity and terrorist attack in our country, Nigeria. The way we got here is about the mismanagement of politicians we have in the country because when you look at the sectors around, you can see that um, they are not doing their job, actually. And uh, many people mount that particular position not to think about the welfare of the citizens of Nigeria, but to think about their own self-aggrandizement, what are they are going to gain in power. I think all this thing has to do with understanding because this uh, um, terrorism of a thing it has to do with our society, our youth, and um, understanding with the government and the individuals of the citizens, because something led to something. Probably because, maybe because they are not satisfied with some certain things around them, which maybe the government is supposed to help out, like empowerment, because all this terrorism thing has to do with, um, if, you are, if you have a job, you can, if you're jobless, then you think of doing one thing or the other. But if you have a job, maybe you're working or something, maybe you can't think of any negative thing around you or around other people. Things is no more good in Nigeria, even in Imo State. Hmm? For example, I'm from Olu. Olu, where the governor come from. But it's the way they keep people over there. It's too much. Why we have governor from that, uh, uh, you know, at the Olu zone? Hope was At least as a governor, he's supposed to maintain all these things. To see that all these things is vanished in Imo State, particularly. The government, they are not just giving us listening ears. That's just it. They are neglecting the citizens of the country. Why? I think why they are doing this is because their kids are not here. They leave them out there and. They are reluctant on whatever it is that is happening to the citizens of Nigeria. They have really left us behind. And most especially in Owori, in most states, the issue of the insecurity is really, really on the high side. The unknown men are really terrorizing us. Even just now, I think about some minutes back, people were running. I don't know if you guys were here and you saw it. And it has been really a lot. With me today to look at this crucial topic is Professor Sam Ezaika. Prof, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Actually, Prof, uh, we are in Nigeria and uh, Nigeria is a country we can't run away from it, despite the whole lot of uh, challenges in it. But then the situation is quite high in terms of insecurity and terrorism. So, what do you make of the security situation in this country as it stands now? Well, I think the first thing one needs to say, and say it very constructively, is the fact that no nation in the world has ever attained development without stability and security. Therefore, uh, it is imperative for every government desirous of attaining certain levels of development to ensure that there is security in the nation. Uh, I haven't said that. Uh, there is a peculiar situation we are confronted with in the country. We are desirous on the one hand of development and on the other hand we are not providing sufficient security in the nation. Therefore we are desiring what we cannot achieve. 
because we can't achieve development without a sense of security. There must be a certain dominant sense of security in the nation to enable the people to use their ingenuity, and Nigerians do have incredible ingenuity. So yes, we have a very, very peculiar problem. We have a problem of our inability to uh, actualize development, even though uh, we are holding a conversation on the issue here and there in the nation, but uh, we have not defined a, a proper architecture that will ensure that we have security that will spur development in all its ramifications. So we have a problem. Okay, Prof, looking at the whole situation, like I said earlier, before now we're saying that, okay, it's basically in so, so so place, maybe in the northern, you know, states and all of that region but now it's just all over the country do you think that the government has done enough as regards to uh, treating insecurity or tackling insecurity in this country collectively the majority of the citizenry with the dynamic reality of in the country conclusively we see that government hasn't done enough uh, i am also going to say government hasn't done enough but uh, I want to look at it from a broad perspective. First, a nation must develop a security architecture which will ensure that appropriate provisions in terms of training, material, logistics are provided to ensure that there is security. The country must also be uh, so divided in terms of a strategic division to ensure that whatever policy is developed from the architectural sense, from the, the premise of dive, you know, involving all the strata of the society. Everyone has to be involved, most people have to be informed, and this information and involvement will create a kind of awareness that will enable the citizenry to be purveyors and participants and actors in the process of achieving security. Uh, that has not been done efficiently and effectively. Therefore, the results have been poor. When a clear-cut architecture for security is not developed in a nation, you begin to have fire brigade approach. You know, solution arising as a result of action or inaction. That is not good enough. That is not good enough for a great country like Nigeria. Uh, we need the government to do more than the needful to ensure that there is security because of the various ramifications of development associated with security. Nigerian security outfits is sophisticated to a certain degree. Uh, the personnel, well trained, but the environment in which they work is not dynamic, therefore not giving them the leverage to be able to achieve the desired result improve the training of the personnel who are involved with managing and handling security issues, security matters, give them more training, give them more training not just in terms of security apparatus but broad understanding of their environment, equip them, equip them at all strata, involve more people, inform more people and the more people are informed and the security personnel have a dynamic environment to work and the support of the institutions they are working for, there will be an improvement. So we beckon on the government, both federal, state, local government, to do the needful, including the traditional rulers and even the religious organizations, to step out in security from our country. We have had various issues as a country, but terrorism wasn't part of it until recently. Let us have your views on this topic and follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. My name is Olama Vivian G.